Hello students, welcome back to our channel ACL Learning with Divya. Students, in the previous video, we understood the concept of multiplication. In this video, we will understand how to multiply two digit numbers by one digit number. Here, we need to multiply 24 by 2. Let's write it in vertical way. That is one below the other. Now, here 24 is the multiplicand and 2 is the multiplier. And this is the multiplication sign. Cross sign is the multiplication sign. Remember, we should always start multiplying by 1's place. So here, 2 we will multiply with 4. 4 is at 1's place and 2 is at 10's place. First, we will multiply with 1's place. Then, we will multiply with 10's place. 2, 4 times is 8. And 2, 2 times is 4. So here the answer is 48. When we multiply two numbers, the answer what we get is called as product. So here we have multiplied 24 into 2. We got the answer as 48. Instead of adding 24 2 times, we have multiplied by 2. So here, multiplication is nothing but repeated addition. Look at one more example here. Here, we need to multiply 36 by 5. First, we will write it vertically. Always remember we will have to start multiplying with 1's and then move to 10's place. We will always multiply the multiplicand by multiplier. What is 6? 5 6 times? 5 6 times is 30. Yes, so 5 6 times is 30, 0 here and we will carry, yes, 3 to next place value as we do in addition, right? And now multiply 5 by 3. What is 5 by 3? 5 3 times is 15. With that number add the carried number that is 3. So, 15 plus 3 is 18. So, here we write 18. So, when we multiply 36 by 5, we will get the product as 180. Look at one more example here. Think there are 30 students in your class and each one has to carry 7 books to class. How many books will be carried to class in all? To find out, we will have to multiply 30 into 7. 7, 0 times is 0 itself. Any number multiplied with 0, the product will be 0 itself. Right? So, 7 multiplied by 0 is 0. 7, 3 times is 21. So, if 30 students are carrying 7 books each, means total there will be 210 books in all. Remember, we should always start multiplying by the smallest value that is 1's place. Then we will move to 
tens place. First, we'll multiply with ones place, then move to tens place. If there is one more value also, then we'll move to that value that is hundreds place. So, students, I hope you have understood to multiply two digit numbers by one digit number. Thanks for watching and keep supporting.